Hey guys, it's 360 Mods and Hacks here, aka Dope Waffle, bringing everybody here a tutorial on the newest dashboard update for December 20th, 2013. Uh, this is just when the XE build got released. The dashboard got released about a week ago, and the uh, the successfully patched uh, XE hacked image just got released. So I'm gonna be kind of doing a uh, voice tutorial, bringing everybody who's new to uh, you know flashing a hacked image from XE build uh, up to date on how to do it and uh, how to get started alright so the first thing you're gonna need is the download link in the description um, props to the guys over at uh, uh, Xbox Live Stealth at getting this for us uh, they just released it so I'm gonna go ahead and use theirs since they confirmed it's safe and everything um, I didn't really wanna upload a video on how to patch the dashboard since an XE build is much safer um, with that being said let's go ahead and get started so what you're gonna have here in these folders is um, just a couple of uh, readmes, some text files, uh, a launch I and I, and then you're gonna have an XE build 2.0.exe. Go ahead and run the XE build, and then you'll see this program right here. Uh, a lot of people do get really confused, but there's just a few steps you do have to take. Um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna download a uh, a tool called Flash 360. Okay and um, once you download flash 360 I'll have a download link in the description you're gonna put it on a flash drive okay once you go into a flash drive you're gonna go into flash 360 and press backup current file or current NAND to file I believe it is button X um, and then press A and then um, it'll go through all the sectors of your NAND and um, it'll write a file called flash DMP onto your um, flash drive go ahead and plug your flash drive into the computer just as I did so and um, you will have these files uh, right here. Uh, let me delete this, and this should this should be um, what it looks like right here. Um, with this flash DMP, you're gonna load that into the source file right here. So you're gonna go into uh, your flash drive, click My Computer, all right, and then uh, out of all the disks, you're gonna go to Removable Disk G or whatever yours is for the flash. Go to flash DMP .bin. Alright, and then it'll load everything up. Um, and then for your CPU key, uh, do I have my CPU key? Let me see here. Yes, I have my CPU key. Mm, that's okay. Yeah, that works. Okay, and then um, you're going to put your CPU key right there. And everything uh, for the current status should be green right now. And then you're going to click check KV. Um, Mine's going to give an error because that's not the right CPU key because I don't want to use the real one that I have for uh, for this video. This is just an old CPU key that I had from another console. Um, and then you will see uh, everything should check out and uh, check KV, right? And then you're going to go to uh, generate hacked image. Make sure everything on your settings before you click generate hacked image is correct, like the RGH1, the motherboard. Make sure you included the new dash launch. And um, the kernel version should be 16547, which is the newest dash as of today. Click Generate Hacked Image, uh, and then it'll save. Uh, it it'll say uh, fatal errors. That's just for me, but for you, it should make a file on your flash drive named udpflash.bin. And um, with that, you're gonna take the USB out of your computer and you're going to go to your Xbox 360 load up flash 360 load up the XEX again and then it should say write UDP flash to NAND um, and then it should say keep current KV config make sure you read that because one option is keep current and the other one is do not keep current so make sure you keep the current KV config and then uh, there's a few security it'll like say press start and then press A and then it'll build it and with this doing so it is um, it's going to uh, flash your NAND into the 16547 um, image uh, <coughs> let me see here I just turn on my console I'm, I'm doing everything as y'all doing I don't have a capture card or anything so I'm just making sure I did everything right uh, okay so then it'll say done and then press the back button twice and it will say uh, shut down <coughs> takes five seconds literally and then it'll shut down um, after that wait about five six seven seconds and then boot your console back up if you've already had a um, 
a prior Xbox Live Stealth.xex plugin, what your console is going to do is boot and then immediately shut down. You can't get past this other than to press t to power your sh uh, console completely off and then press the power button and then the eject button. This boots with absolutely no plugins. Then you can go into XEX menu, um, find the uh, Xbox Live Stealth.xex and press Y in XEX menu and it'll say delete and then it'll uh, it'll boot fine after that. Um, <coughs> as far as going online, wait for the newest Xbox Live Stealth plugin to be um, released and everything should be good to go. Alright guys, thanks for watching my video. Um, if you have any questions, comment other uh, on Seven Sins in uh, in the comment box. And yeah, alright guys, I appreciate it. Thanks.